Is there a way to falsify or test your model of consciousness? I think that there is a way to test it in the sense that we can at some point build a system that uh, will explain that it's conscious to others, that that would be the ultimate proof to itself, and that there would be nothing left to be explained. Wait, wait, sorry, sorry. If it just says that it's conscious, then it's conscious? This is so, so the question is whether you build it in such a way that it cheats, right? So you could, of course, make a, a chatbot that pretends that it's conscious without being conscious. And, right. uh, th th but this would mean that at some point you will see a functional difference. There will be a difference between the behavior of a conscious system and uh, the behavior of a system that is not conscious. And uh, I think currently that the difference that you would observe is that the system does not have a control model of its own attention. It's not aware of the fact that it's attending and what it is attending to. So, for instance, the question, is a cat conscious, I think is a decidable question. It's a question that comes down to whether the cat can be best explained as being aware of what it attends to. And um, based on this criterion, I would say cats are clearly conscious. And uh, if uh, you look at a sleepwalker, a sleepwalker is a person that is unaware of what they attend to. They can attend to things, but they don't know that they do this, and as a result, they cannot question their actions. They cannot redirect their attention. They behave in a way like an automaton because there is uh, this attention loop is missing that would be able to reflect on what they are doing and learn well, something. Well, they can walk. From that. Yes, but they cannot learn. They, they cannot change their behavior as a result of, of, of reflecting on the interaction with their environment. They cannot direct their attention in this sense for this attentional learning. They can perform all the automatic autonomous behaviors that the elephant has been trained into. They can... Uh, there are perceptions taking place, right? They can open a door, they can even uh, make dinner, but uh, they are unable to learn something. So they're able to coordinate actions, but it's like an orchestra without a conductor. So a capacity to learn as well as attention is what's required for consciousness and somehow this becomes a test of consciousness that you can falsify it from this? I think that uh, the ability to learn is neither necessary nor sufficient. You have people that are conscious and that have lost the ability to learn. And you have uh, systems that can learn and clearly they're not conscious. Right. But I think the, the purpose why we have this attention is largely to enable us to uh, do a targeted recall of index memories for the purpose of learning.